my question is more, does he feel that his party is supporting him in that? Oh. Does he sense, or does he sense divisions among some parts uh, look, of the I, party? I can't speak to, I, we're not sensing division, right? We're, the president is focusing on the job at hand. Uh, the president is going to always focus and make sure that Americans and our, our national security is front and center, and this is part of that. But also, uh, you know, Israel is a friend. And what they have gone through, the people of Israel have gone through these past couple of days is horrific. And so we are going to stand by them, as the president has said, uh, as they go, go through this terrible time. Remember, they were, as you know, as you've all written about, attacked by a terrorist organization, a terrorist organization. And so uh, the president's going to continue to do his duty as commander in chief and as president. Do you have an estimate on how many American citizens are trying to leave Israel right now? I don't. I don't have an estimate. As you as you just heard from the admiral, we announced the, the charter um, uh, that the state is going to be running. Uh, just don't have any uh, any intel. And you know, the commercial flights are still are still uh, go ongoing in Israel, so there are opportunities for folks to leave. I just don't have uh, any number for you. Are there any active threats that, um, on the domestic front that law enforcement is tracking at this moment stemming from Saturday's attacks? What I can say is that we're always monitoring. Uh, clearly, we're going to monitor uh, to make sure, you know, that uh, uh, to make sure if there are any threats, obviously we would, uh, we would um, uh, address those, but there's nothing active that I, can, uh, that I can announce to you or lay out to you at this time. There is. We're monitoring right now, but there's nothing that there are no active threats at this time.